So let's imagine that we are into the warrior one. So again, taking care of the alignment and from warrior one, so just observe in one, your hands are tall and nice, creating length in your back. And for number two, nothing changes in your lower body. Your lower body is just grounded and stable, no movement, literally no movement. And from here, for number two, just keep your breath really normal and bring your body away from your knee and still maintaining the knee position and the alignment and stay here for a couple of deep breaths for five, four, three, two, one. Lift both the legs up and then your neck up. Nice strengthening for your lower back. Your lower abdomen squeezes to a greater extent. Keep breathing. Begin to lie down on your back and place your heels as close as possible to your butt and hold your ankles. Make sure your thumb is outside and when you're ready, slowly inhale and lift your hips all the way up. So try and reach as high as possible, but your breath should be in the normal range. And stay here for a couple of deep breaths. Feel very strongly with your hands on the mat. Now tuck your toes. Make sure you engage your navel and slowly lift yourself up. When you lift yourself up, your focus is to lift your hips back and up. So lengthening, lengthening your spine. Keeping that position of your spine completely straight, you're gonna press your heels into the floor. Now sit sideways with one side towards the wall and on an exhalation, lie back and bring your shoulders down onto the edge of the cushion. Place your arms by the side of your body with your palms facing down. Roll and tuck your shoulders underneath. Bend your knees to right angles. Push your feet against the wall and lift your pelvis off the support. Make sure that you do not feel any strain around the neck region. When you're comfortable, straighten your feet upwards towards the ceiling. Press your tailbone towards your pubis and turn the upper thighs inward slightly. Soften your throat and your tongue. Firm the shoulder blades against the back and move the sternum towards your chin. Gaze softly at your chest. Hold as long as comfortable. Come into all fours. So what that means is you need to have your wrists always aligned underneath your shoulders and your knees always aligned under the hips. Your hands are shoulder width distance and your knees are hip width distance. What we are going to do is drop the spine down as you lengthen upwards with the chin and the tailbone. On the exhale, you'll round through the shoulders, pull the belly in and bring your chin to your chest as you look to your navel. Come to a neutral spine. Mm -hmm. 